Information tonight on the relationship between an Orlando man killed by the FBI and one of the Boston bombing suspects. The father of Ibrahim Tadashev confirmed to our Serena Fazan in an exclusive interview today he will meet with the state attorney tomorrow in hopes of finding answers in his son's death. Abdul Baki Tadashev points to the wounds on his son's body. Nine, ten, and and 11. 11 injuries that look like bullet wounds seen in pictures most too graphic to show. Meeting at the offices of the Council on American Islamic Relations, his father sat down for his first one on one interview with the help of an interpreter. His name. The and facts name are too. clearly uh, unknown to everybody. We know that he got killed. That's obvious. Ibrahim Tadashev killed by an FBI agent during an interrogation on his relationship with Boston bombing suspect Tamar Lancer Nayev. The two met at a gym in Massachusetts before Ibrahim moved to Florida. Did act in Boston. Today, his father explained their relationship. His son stated to him that they basically were mere acquaintances. He is also stunned at FBI reports that his son was about to sign a confession to an unsolved triple homicide in Massachusetts, also linked to Sarnayev. He says his son had nothing to hide, postponing a trip home and even deciding not to hire an attorney. He wanted to answer all of the FBI's questions himself, so he didn't want to make an impression that he was in fact guilty of something. The elder Tadashev says he and his son both understood the FBI's interest. They were trying to investigate every person who could have been possibly connected. But he doesn't understand how it turned so violent. Both the FBI and Department of Justice launched an investigation, but it's an independent review ordered by the state attorney in Orlando that gives Tadashev the most hope. Care attorney Hassan Shivley will accompany Tadashev. When a Florida resident is shot and killed, we expect there to be uh, answers. Two key questions Tadashev hopes to have answered. Did his son know he could end the interview, which lasted more than four hours? And he wonders what threat his son really posed since he just had knee surgery. How do you explain seven bullets? Now, the FBI will not confirm the number of shots fired. Agents blocked the release of the autopsy pending the investigation. Tadashev plans on staying here in the United States until he gets some answers. Back to you, Jameson.